Hello everyone and welcome back. Let's make our way along the wilderness here. Picking up where we left off. We are looking for the deserter of the Flaming Fist by the name of Samuel. He's allegedly traveling with a woman, so perhaps we shall find them. Oh, here we have a woman named Lena. I'll wait for the rest of us to catch up to Yeslik here, and I shall speak with her myself. How are you? Let's see what she has to say. She begs us to wait a moment. We must forgive her appearance, but she has been wandering the wilderness for more than a week now. We've just got to help her. Her friend is badly hurt. He might die if he doesn't get assistance soon. What is the name of this friend of yours? His name is Samuel. She seems reluctant to admit that, but asks if we shall help. Well, yes, we can. Where is he? He's right there on the ground. Nearby. He's so sick right now. Don't know how much longer he has to live. Could we take him to the Friendly Arm Inn? Take him to Jalana Mirror Shade at the Temple of Wisdom. She would help. Please. Alright, alright. We will take Samuel to the Temple of Wisdom at the Friendly Arm Inn. But when we pick him up, she cautions us to be gentle. Take him to the temple right away. Do not tarry, for we don't know how much longer he'll live. Very well. well he's quite heavy, actually. Overburdening myself, so I'm going to pass him off to Minsk. I think he'll be able to handle the weight better than I. And also, I want to do something about this uh, vulnerability of Dainy here. Here, She seems rather exposed, so see if we can actually remedy that with some better bracers. They don't actually have an effect on Imwin since her base armor class will be lower than 6, which is what these bracers set them to, so we'll give those to Dainy here. The reason for that being that Imwin already has relatively high dexterity, and with her robe of the Arc Magi and whatever else enchanted item she's wearing, the bracers have no actual effect. So, might as well pass those off to the dining here. Must take some time to rest. Corn begins to complain about how tired he is. Ah, we're beset by gibberlings. Dispose of them as best we can. Also, candle up. Alright, actually done, everyone. Continue to the north and the west, and I guess we are beginning to tire as well, so we'll have to make camp perhaps at the Friendly Arm Inn itself. First, we have Hafiz here, who wishes to speak to us. He asks us to wait. It's very important. Well, sure, what do you have to tell us, Dwarf? He introduces himself, Hafiz bin Watat, astrologer, scientist, and mage. He asks our name. Hmm. Ordinarily, I would be somewhat reluctant to divulge that. Hasn't really worked out in the past that well. But, considering how he's all alone out here, seems relatively harmless. He's quite friendly. I'll tell him. My name is Zeverk. That's the name he remembers. He's seen our face in his dreams. The dreams are always ones of blood and death. There's another man who watches. An evil man. They always end with our death, or Hafiz's. It's so strange that he should meet us, the focus of these dreams. He asks us to tell him about ourselves. Hmm. Well, there's quite a bit to say. I don't really know if I have the time to go into all the details, but... I used to live at Candlekeep with my father, Garayan. A little while back, we were forced to flee. It seems like there's someone out there who really wants me dead. And in trying to kill me, he killed my father. He says he's sorry to bring back such painful memories, but he wishes to help us and in so doing, end the dreams that plague him. He will give us a scroll, protect us from the wrath of someone involved in our father's death. Hmm. That's oddly specific. The six who serve the father's killer. Perhaps we shall meet again. Very well, he's, he's given us this unidentified scroll. Looks like a protection scroll of some sort. Well. I guess you never know who you'll meet out here in the wilderness. It's not always destined to end in blood and death. Unlike his dreams that haunt him so. Alright, with that said though, let us continue and immediately head for the Friendly Arm Inn. You have been of course we've been waylaid by Knowles. Because we're going to rest shortly anyway, might as well get the most mileage out of our spells. So why don't we fire one off, back away just a little bit. More coming. Careful now. Alright, well done. Let's 
let's, uh, let's make our way there. <coughs> we do good. This is my clan Continue, hopefully, ago. uncontested. We did. Right, do we have any relevant spells? Not really. Perhaps some healing spells. I want to use those before we let's, let's actually guide the party ourselves. Don't want them to get lost along the way. Give them instructions on where to go. <coughs> but since we plan to rest anyway, might as well use any of our spells that will just be refreshed anyway. Striding past these guards who have been faithfully keeping watch and maintaining order in the friendly arm in ever since we first crossed paths with them many moons ago. The city is just as I remember it. Big commoners enjoying their day in the sun. But hopefully we made it in time. We didn't delay at all in our haste back to the friendly arm. Hopefully we'll be able to help Samuel speak with Jelana here. <clears throat> Seems she notices we have someone among us who is badly injured. This man is named Samuel. We were told to bring him to you. What bad shape he's in. Seems she knows of him from before, knowing that he is a fine young man, to pity he let himself be persuaded by Lena to desert the fist. Nothing can be done about that, but something can be done about his health. And she rewards us with some potions as a show of her gratitude. Thank you. Looks like heroism and an elixir of health, it seems. Right. And also some experience and reputation. Fantastic. Alright, let's get out of here now. And fortunately, the inn is right over here. So we'll go and see Jelana's husband, Bentley, I believe is his name. Make arrangements to sleep into the night. It begins to rain. Take shelter here. Perhaps treat ourselves to a drink or two. If we have anything worth identifying or selling. Possibly just some of those uh, medium shields. Pass those off to myself. I shall speak with Bentley. Actually, we might have some. Yeah, we do have healing spells left, left over. So let's go ahead and uh, get everyone to top shape. Right. Sell those shields quickly. I don't think he had anything too interesting. We're well stocked on ammunition, so I don't think we need any of that. I think we're good. Let's have a drink first. I'll have some Evermead. Iron is scarce. I think it's as valuable as gold. Of course, I feel like we've heard this one before. So let's just uh, go to sleep after the uh, effects of that healing spell expire. We rested. Let's make our way out. And um, I think we're in good shape now. So we are quite near to Baldur's Gate itself. There were still some empty areas to the east, I believe, that we could explore. Nightfall. Could head down that way. I suppose we shall have to decide when we come to the edge here. Some farmland to the north on the way to Baldur's Gate. And the unexplored to the east. Have to see what the new day brings. So yes, he's limited to just his one bonus casting of Dispel Magic. I don't believe he ever gets additional charges of that, but not a problem. Quite a selection of spells with our good friend Yeslik. I think we might take some time, get a little bit more experience. We would really like Imwin to reach level 6 before we head for the city itself, of Baldur's Gate, in order to regain her thieving abilities and just make sure that we're as prepared as possible. So we'll actually explore to the east a bit, back to the oh, Pelled Vale. Let's see, was there anything was worth exploring out here? I'm inclined to say no. Oh, some gibberlings. Never a moment to keep these things around. So we'll continue exploring. Of course, the last time we were here, it was on the way to the bandit camp. We laid waste to not too long ago. Got 
some lovely looking meadows here full of flowers. We're still being we are still being pursued. Corin, handle it. And no, no, no. It's too little, too late. Should have thought about that before being riddled with arrows. Oh, so we've actually uncovered two additional areas here. The Lars Wood and some farm looking area. Let's go to the Lars Wood here first. You have been waylaid and by enemies and must of course we must defend ourselves yourself. from something. Can't, oh, I've got them. Just a couple probably. Oh, but they're coming from all sides. Let's uh, burn one of them and bash this other one. Nice done down here. Close this one off and take a quick break in the video as we continue in just a moment. Thanks for watching everyone.